Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the grind, sitting at 32,424 skill points. Um, surely we make it to top 100, but probably not much better than that. Uh, 2,275 games, 2,286 to 758, and we've uh, played 6,356. Um, 11 days, 7 hours, 53 minutes until the end of season 14. And we are sitting at 235th place on the world leaderboard. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. I have a daily release on YouTube, do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the grind. As I said, we're sitting at 200. 35th place on the world leaderboard. I think we can crack top 100 before the end of the season. Depends on how much work I want to put into it. Orange goes for an obvious Indonesia cap. The risk of the Indonesia cap always stands. Um, I'm going to take South Southern Europe here um, because purple didn't block effectively. Word a little bit about black <laughs> red caps next to me. Or okay. now we're worried about red. If you're black, I think you pick China or Mongolia. Iceland if he sucks. Noob Guinea if he really sucks. <laughs> Gentleman is taking his time. Yeah, I would troll him as well, yellow. Yep, Iceland if he sucks. Okay, and yellow takes India. No, Alaska. I don't know that I love Alaska, but that's very interesting. So I kind of control much of this with orange. Let's see how the cookie crumble setting. So we're doing capital conquest on classic auto 60 neutral bot with alliances on fog blizzard portals are off. I'm in third six positions. My first turn, we have an obvious tack off the four stack on the seven, fortify the three into the seven. I'm going to sit on capital with seven, 12, 14 troops after the open. Not bad. Uh, Purple might take South America. I'm actually closing my line to purple by doing that. Um, but I assume that either red or they themselves open it back up. So I'll be able to hopefully kill the purple cap if purple overextends. Also, for those of you who, who haven't noticed, my hair is very poofy today. <laughs> I hope you're well, folks. This grind is not the way. Um, it might be the way if you already get up really high and then you want to do, you know, a more safe mode and you have infinite time. That's a methodology. But I can get to 32K skill points just playing free-for-all progressive and those games take 20 minutes. So um, perhaps my thinking for... Um, a rank grind for next season will be something like get to progressive or get there to progressive and then switch, right? Get to top 100 ish or top 200 ish. It's later in the season now, right? So, so top 100 is a lot more competitive threshold for top 100 is I'll you right now, uh, 35 K, right? 35 K skill points doesn't even get you top 100 at the moment. So, Last season, I got up to 37 playing Europe Caps. I think, I think Europe Caps is a lot more viable than this. For most, most people, most normal human beings who don't have infinite time, of course. All right, everyone playing reasonably well on their first turn. We're not seeing any super crazy chokes or suicide play. This one could go a while. I've said that pretty much every game. Oh. 
Orange doesn't want to hit fours. Never mind. Yes, he does. And whoppa. Take the bonus. You might as well. Hmm. Poor quality play from Orange. I mean, maybe I take Africa. Plippity plop. He wants to be friends. In the first position, the orange player, Zion Zanders from USA. In the second position, the pro player, Splampity Plop, also from USA. I'm in the third position. It's my main account. In the fourth position, red player, Lord Vader, uh, 18, from Malaysia. Uh, do I have a card? I don't. Don't. All right, we'll remain disconnected. The black player in the fifth seat is Schmur. Flying the flag of South Sudan. And finally, the yellow player, Dichtungstampf, from Germany. Playing as yellow. Uh, okay, well. Red capping next to me is a very interesting play. I'm going to try and focus on making sure that... That cap and that player doesn't exist. He reduces the quality of my capital, and him capping there reduces the quality of his. My cap still connects to more than his. One, two, three, four, five, but not truly six. And his connects to one, two, three, four, but not truly four. So my cap is much better than Red's in a vacuum. Um, if Red was a good player, he probably would have taken something like Irkutsk. So him capping next to me tells me he's either a shit player or he's trolling me or both. And that's okay. Because we can still win a lot of games. <laughs> Black skips. Their second car. Black skips. Okay. Yellow is indicating that he would like to hit the black six. Gives orange a card before orange removes the position. I'm just going to go pop, pop. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't see any reason why Purple doesn't take South America here. Because they do, I'm going to take Africa. Give everyone, anyone, all of them, some of them, one of them lets me hold it. Yeah, we guard from capital. Red breaks, I think. Red breaks immediately. Red doesn't break. Okay. So I don't think they're trolling me then. I don't think purple breaks. I don't think orange adds troops there. I think orange takes Australia, but I, I thought that last turn. The Australian players are often the breakers. They have the uh, the bonus, and why why should they let anyone else, right? Black doesn't break either. Yay! I get to hold. That's fantastic. I get to hold. Oh. Oh. Yep. You can get a heart, sir. Okay. Yellow just puts all the troops on capital. Yeah. I'm 
nothing stopping Orange from taking the Bono now, but it's a bit late. I already have a plus three. And purple has a shot. Purple breaks, right? No, purple uses their nine. This is good. <laughs> Let me hold the Africa. All right. Cool. Twenty seven cap feels good, folks. Red's now thinking about breaking. Chooses not to. Cool. Okay. Someone will eventually. It's inevitable. There's no way in, there's no way for me into North America after I get eliminated from it. I'm not really rushing to spend those troops. So the Americas are, are, are all three point guarded. Um, in the 1v1, whenever this game reaches that point, whomever controls those three North America caps could be in a very good way. But of course, my cap is objectively the best of all the caps, assuming it's open. It just connects to the most, and it's very central to the board. But all of the pockets, interestingly, are guarded. Consider the, the triple cap Americas and the single cap Indonesia. So, looks like we hold Africa another turn, but unfortunately, we might have to keep taking capital. No, we don't keep taking capital cards. Uh, we take off of this line now. We never take these final two cards. if We can avoid it. Okay, red is, uh, orange is skipping. That's cool, I can skip two. I have a bonus. I don't hate skipping here. Yeah, I don't hate skipping here either. I'm too large for someone to just randomly kill me. Famous last words, I suppose. Okay, purple is first to trade. Did orange skip a second time? Wow. Everyone skipped a purple, I see. All right, purple down, take cards. Orange playing up the advantage of their bonus. Why not skip? If they are. Red takes a card. Red has no advantage, so they might as well. I think black takes a card. I don't think we see two full turns skipping. Yeah, black consolidates on capital. 
yellow continues to skip. So yellow skipping is very, very bad and dangerous for yellow. Problem is that um, they're going to have a very weak capital in the second sequence. And if they miss a set on four, they will be able to get killed. Not yet, but in the second trades, orange continues to skip. Okay. All right, orange can have the 15. They got me. They got orange gets the biggest trade. Okay. Red sets gets the six. Yeah, black sets gets the eight. We're a bit back. A bit more troops than you would expect, but the bonuses, you know, have mattered for a bit longer. Not not enough for me to make a kill with them, but maybe, as I said, if yellow trips um, and misses their second trade, then I can eat them. Would be a fun play. And punish the skipper, although everyone was the skipper. The real skipper, skipper is, uh, is orange player. Yeah, so if orange's exteriors get picked off, That would be interesting. Right, they find themselves in Australia. Okay, black sitting there blocks my line. Yellow takes card five now. In India or in Siam? I mean, China connects to so many as well. China connects to one, three, four, five, six as well. Goes for the break. He does go for the break. reasonably down to let yellow take cards in Africa. I don't actually hate that. Normally I'd want to trade the cannons, but I think having the three there is fine. So early enough we don't need to worry about sets on three. I'm gonna card on top of my just gonna let yellow sort of take cards in Africa with impunity, uh, up to and including the point where he actually takes the bonus. He'll never get the bonus. That's not going to happen. But him opening my capital is is ideal. So because the sequence is all fucked up, yellow gets the twelve. Uh, purple gets the 15, and we don't yet know who gets the 20, so orange hasn't traded yet, but orange would be at risk of death. Black sort of haphazardly putting a lot of troops here and there. Yeah, yellow takes Madagascar here. That's why I traded the Mad card before. I wanted the plus two. Very negligible move, but you take two troops when you're given them. Yeah, it just puts a single. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Yep, cold. Okay, we understand what yellow is doing. Yellow seems to know how to play. Orange takes their fifth card. Yes, and it has a seven stack in the Americas. Six stack. Okay. 
Purple takes the 15. Missed opportunities. I have a 69 stack on my capital. All right, black consolidates on their capital. So no one's really taking cards in North America. I still have a stack there. I'm going to use that stack for cards for as long as possible. Orange still has a stack there too. Hey, yellow rolls a 3v1 in South Africa. He needs his cap to be as big as possible so no one thinks to kill it. Cards? We do. No, we don't have cards. Okay. Orange takes a 20 trade. Doesn't do any of import. Let's purple open the yellow capital. I think opening the yellow capital here might be a miss. Well, it's a good thing in the short term because yellow making moves might mean yellow makes favorable moves to you long term but if it were closer to the end of the game I'd say it wouldn't be as important to move okay i predict red takes a card in asia okay and they take the 25 trade oh and they're going to remove the purple exterior cool that's going to piss off purple Interesting. All right. Red. There's no real good reason red does that. But that is the type of play from a player who would who would snap cap next to another player. So. Red's a bit of a dick. Okay. So we, we'll, we'll see if purple retaliates. Me sitting on five cards here is, is not ideal, but at least I know how to trade. Black sets gets the 25. The 30. Okay, we're on the 35 trade now. Black can't really kill anybody with his cap. It's closed. Yep. Just hits a bunch of red for no real reason. Black likes to send a message. Yellow takes Congo. Nope. <sighs> Yellow fails to take Congo. Purple either retaliates on red or starts taking cards in North America. Starts taking cards in North America. Okay. Be favorable to black. See, with hundred and eleven cap. Yeah, 
The red does fuck all and retreats to capital. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone playing reasonably well. And I, if I had a few more troops, I could have got that yellow kill. So that's the scenario I was talking about, right? Yellow sitting on five with, with 72 troops overall. Um, there was a world where I could kill that 67, but it's not a good roll. 111 v 67, like by the time it gets there, it's even less. Black needlessly hits a bunch of red. All right, yellow has the 40 trade. They only put four troops there. Oh, they would like, a, they would like to continue to take cards there. Sure. As I said, right? The one thing he doesn't get to do is uh, actually hold Africa, so that's never going to happen. Orange breaks South America? Oh, orange removes me from the pocket. Cool. And purple trees. Thank you for opening my capital. Man, see a failed 3v1s. Okay, so red is going to eliminate orange from there? Yes. All right, so red is the last foreign player in the pocket. He's going to break purple from the other side. Oh, I love that. What an asshole. <laughs> Red's bored, and he doesn't know how to play. Yeah, that's dangerous that he capped next to me because a board player who doesn't know how to play fucking suicides, they're capping to me in the mid game. <sighs> We're going to put lots of troops on our cap as soon as we can. Fuck. Bullshit hap going to happen again. He's going to be out of moves. He's going to randomly suicide into me. And quit. Black keeping their cap open. All right. Um, can any kill or before they trade? No, right? It would have been yellow's initiative, but yellow orange living very dangerously, skipping that much. But here we go. They set, and now they're back in the game. But they lock their capital in. Yeah. Just lock their cap, that's it? Yeah, just lock their cap, that's it. Okay, great. Right, so orange will be cap, lock cap locked, card locked. Orange might be the first to die. I don't think purple retaliates on red. Oh God, he put 150 troops off capital. It's gonna remove red from the pocket. Perfect, okay, so red, me, and orange now no longer exist in the Americas. Only the three players who are in there are in there behind the capitals. Now, 
The set is 65. I could easily take a positive roll on Orin. Doesn't trigger a trade. Yes, red locks their own capital from the top. Why do I have so many more troops in red? Oh, they dedicated troops exterior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if orange takes the fourth card, that kill becomes very viable. Now, black closes their cap off into the Americas. Or breaks purple again. Yeah. Or purple. Or purple. Yellow takes North America. <laughs> sure. That's a funny play. That play gives me the giggles. Okay. Um, it could be a world if purple was good. They set kill yellow set. Orange do anything. Oh man. I'm going to get five cards from or four cards from this kill. Each card, okay, so 70 divided by 3. So each card is worth 22, 23 troops. Ah, never mind. Back on capital. Ah, I was gonna, <laughs> I was thinking about it, folks. I was, if he didn't do that, I was gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> I was doing the math in my head. I was like, is this worth it? <laughs> Good play to put that one for, you were gonna die, sir. Okay. Okay. Good play, Zion. You almost died. <laughs> I like it. Way to not die, sir. And? Oh, it doesn't break. It doesn't break. Okay. Let me just very slowly take Avery again. Beatman be killing. Beatman always be chilling until it is time to strike, folks. Name of this game, Chill. Well, it's time to strike. What is Red going to do? This turn. Back down off their capital. We'll close that line as well. No, Red takes a Carnesia. Red doesn't suck. Yep, takes a card in Asia. Who sucks? Who sucks this game? I'm, I'm curious. Red's trolly and impatient, but he doesn't suck. Um, He's better than Orange, but Orange doesn't suck either. Purple didn't retaliate. I don't think anyone is terrible. So far, I haven't seen any objectively terrible play. Black closing his cap line, though, is ideal. All right, and yellow sets again. Takes the 70. Do I have a trade on three? We do. I might set. Keep myself off of uh, the threat of death. Maybe setting on four makes the most sense, though. If anyone sits on five, potential I have a kill. Whoa, okay, red putting a lot of troops down there. Or yellow. Yellow putting a lot of troops down there. Why? What's he trying to do? He's trying to take bonuses! Okay, he's just instigating. He's spending troops to kill other people's troops. We like this. Strike hard block. Ah! Cool. He's trying to card block orange. 
Does orange have a set on four? Yes. Yeah, orange might as well just remove you from everywhere. Try and card block him. Yeah, you might as well just remove you from everywhere. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, now you tried to card block someone. Okay, purple sets. Does purple retaliate on red yet? You almost have 100% roll on red. <laughs> Breaks. Love it. All right. 186 troops on cap. We do have a set on three. If red goes to five cards, I kill him. He does not. He hits off cap troops because that's what he knows. That's what he knows. He knows how to play enough to know that you hit off-cap troops. Yeah, this guy being capped next to me could be fatal for me. Right? I get sued by this player in the mid-game. He has about, what are we, 36 minutes? He has another 20 minutes in the tank before he sues me. Fuck. This guy gets bored. Ooh, similar sitch with Black, though. Set, set is 90. He's going to hold five cards. I won't have enough troops, though. I won't have enough troops for that kill. Fuck. Oh, sucks. Yeah, just a fundamental problem with prog caps, plus plus all the skipping. Nobody can die. You go so negative to make a kill, then it's just like... Let someone else do it. <laughs> I'm going to set early here. I don't want anyone thinking they can hit me. It says, oops. Yeah. I am close to the black hill here. Fuck me. Am I ever close to the black hill here? <sighs> I hate that. Black sets? Yeah, I mean, it was almost a guaranteed kill, but you still go 50% negative. I do have the most troops, though, because I haven't fucked around. Everyone else by now has actually fucked around. Uh, do I take the yellow kill? Lol. 154 troops, 283. Oh, it's, again, it's so close. 6 on 5. You know who could get it is purple. Purple can set kill yellow set. Kill him. Make him die. Come on, purple. You see it. You don't have cards on four? What a bummer, man. 
He doesn't have cards on four. All right, 287 troops on capital. Seems like time for a Kill Pete Discord Q&A question. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, come on down to the Discord. Throw your questions in priority sequence. They will be answered. We have a priority Q&A for the boosters of the Discord. I can't always get your questions answered in Twitch chat or in you, especially not in YouTube comments. Um, just not a great format for question and answer, but... Uh, you know what it is a great format for is fill in the dead air. So our next question is from Boomer. Boomer would like to know, how often do you get your hair and beard trimmed? It's always the same length. I like the way it looks and I never want to get my hair cut that short because I have to get it cut every week. I prefer to let my hair grow and cut it short every six months. You do it yourself. Yes, I do. Uh, I've been cutting my hair for most of my adult life. Um, I used to just keep it all really short. Um, and I've only been able to grow this beard for about the last five years. The sides never came in a goatee for a while, but, uh, having the beard and the sides of the head be the same length, do that about every two weeks. I never really do the top. I do the back, do the sides, and I do the sides of my beard. And obviously we let the, the chin and the top grow longer and don't look too terrible. I know people have asked me for, uh, a beard care routine stream. Um, so maybe one day, if you guys are really, really lucky, I'll, I'll go through my whole routine and, uh, you can glean from that what you will. This is like Daddy Pete time, right? Okay, Yellow's going to close their cap off again. Interesting. Nope, they're going to do something. They're going to kill Orange. <laughs> they're going to kill the Orange player and go very negative or fail the kill. They're going to fail that kill, baby. Oh, snap. All right, shit just got real, son. All right, Orange sets, kills Yellow instead. Orange doesn't set. Orange sitting on five cards. Who gets that? No, they set. Cool. Yeah, yellow says, fuck you. Great. Shit's happening. This is good. This keeps this asshole off of me. Right? At least we get a higher placement. I'm still I'm still expecting red to sue me. Don't. Uh, that's why you don't cap in Indonesia, bro. Yeah, puts all his troops out. Or enough of his troops out. Purple can get the... Orange kill here. It won't set him. We do not have a trade on three. All right, purple sets. 335. Current troop leader. That goes into the yellow. No, doesn't do shit. I do nothing because I'm the ultimate predator of this game and I wait forever. And red sets, right? Red doesn't sit on five cards. Smacks the 15. We never take this capital card. After we take Congo, we start taking that and move off of that line. Okay, red is taking their sweet, sweet, sweet time. That's multiplied by six because we're all taking our sweet, sweet, sweet time. Okay, maybe this guy just quits the game. That's better because at least I don't get Sue slammed. It's better to have a neutral cap with a big stack next to me than it is a crazy, unpredictable asshole. And no set. Okay. Lord Vader, where'd you go? Card skipping now costs you a third of 115. Almost 40 troops. Yes. And black is smacking purple again? No. Why? Ugh, poor purple. <laughs> I guess because he, just because, just because he has a bonus. Fuck that guy, right? Oh my God. 
Oh my god. All right. So yellow's cap line is closed into Asia. Don't think yellow's is set on three. If they do, they probably set and smack the 15 or guard around it, which would be very, very funny. We do have a set on four, so we will continue to trade. Yes. So here's what yellow does off this trade. He's going to stack here and go um, stack, stack. No, I'm wrong. He doesn't care about orange anymore. He's going to fuck around in the Americas? What does this play? A lot of pointless smacking going on. <laughs> One of these guys wants North America, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Orange is happy because Orange gets to keep taking cards. Nice set, kill red set. Is that a, a viable line of play? Uh, set, kill red set. Probably. Do I hate that? Yeah, I still, it's still very expensive. It does advance the game. Get our first kill on red. Look, here's, okay. Here's the turning point, folks. If it turns out that red suicides me at any point, then I'm the idiot. Because I could kill them right now, and I'm choosing not to. Let's make note of this. Timestamp 47 minutes on the clock. I mean, for five cards, though. Ladies and gentlemen, for five cards, though. Ooh, it got better. The deal got better. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I got to, right? I got to take that hit. It's 100% cap roll. Purple has an even better line on that kill. Come on, Black, take it. Take it. Yes! Yes! Oh, he sees the odds. He doesn't like the odds. He checked the odds, though. That man checked your capital, sir. That man checked your capital. What do you do? What do you do? Do you let that happen? All right, Purple, kill Red. Come on, Purple, see it. See the play. Sat kill Purple. Set again. Sorry, so set kill red set. Do it. Do it, purple. Purple boy. Plippity plop. Give it the plip. We plopping. We plopping on red. I love you too, buddy. Kill red. Nope. Doesn't take the deal. Oh, fuck. I want to kill Red so bad. All right, fine. We no longer have to worry about red. <laughs> Lol. Um, I might go next, folks. <laughs> I got a bad roll. <laughs> I shouldn't have left any on that cap. I should put them all in the Southern Europe. Black's line is closed to me. Yellow's line is closed to me. The only person who can kill me is purple. Interestingly enough. So let's see if purple takes the kill. It's not a bad kill. Like, I wouldn't fault them for it. If I was purple, I'd probably do it here. 
Set kill me set. Set kill me double set. Fuck. Yeah, if purple's good, he does it. But purple's been getting pissed off by the other players. So... Right? It's a, it was a good time to do it. You see what I'm saying? Black's line to kill me is, is closed by themselves. Yellow's line to kill me is closed by themselves. Orange line to kill me is closed by themselves. The only player who can actually kill me off the trade is purple. And we're going to see if they do it. I love that the Americas is a bloodbath here. Yep. Orange just chilling. They're happy they didn't get last. It very well could have if the war between yellow and orange continued. Thank you. They give me a capital card. We love that. Opens black to me. Okay. What's the 17 stack in Scandi? No. All right. Does purple kill me? I can't watch, folks. Moment of truth. Ah, I die! <laughs> Damn it! I'm gonna die. Fuck! <laughs> he got me! <laughs> Good play. Well played. Yeah, these settings blow. Fuck! <laughs> you get second last for doing something. They're so dumb. Do I still try for top 100? What do you think, guys? Imagine investing 52 minutes and having, like, so few decision points. Um, I think this is it. I think I call it here. These settings are for people who have absolutely nothing better to do. And I want to show you guys the fun of the game. You know, not just the fact that the ranking system is broken. Um, GG plippity plop. You, you you plopped right on my face. Uh, we 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 get uh, we get beginner three intermediates and a master. Something else, folks. I think we're done with this, and I think we're going to think about what works for next season. Um. And reassess. I want to play progressive. I don't know that progressive works either, though, because some idiot on YouTube taught people how to play and the ranking system remains broken. Um, there you have it, folks. Uh, probably ranked down a ton for a fifth place here against a bunch of intermediates. So, hope you enjoyed the series. Caps global domination. I think Europe Caps is um, very much the meta settings because not only is it caps which the ranking system heavily incentivizes you play it's also like really interesting dynamic games it challenges your technical skills it challenges your diplomatic skills um one day in my hopes and prayers smg cares enough about us to give us a real ranking system and until that day Either I will try and continue to make compelling risk television for you all, or I will try and do something else. But I'm going to have to follow my own path with that. I hope you guys understand. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some of this entertaining, fun, educational, all those good things. If you like it, give me a like. If you want more from the channel, I'm still doing 14 shows a week, so get a lot from Free Pete, a lot from Kill Pete Strategy if you like that sort of thing. And thank you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.